The Emperor has no authority. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. If you think the Biden administration caging kids at the border is bad, wait till you hear what it's doing in Yemen. Would you be willing to murder a child every 10 minutes to advance U.S. geostrategic interests in the Middle East? Because that's exactly what the U.S. government and its proxies are doing in Yemen. Imagine watching a political party consistently demonstrate the exact same pattern of behavior for generations and then thinking it's about to change. When the U.S. changes political party leadership, you'll see minor superficial changes which don't affect the powerful at all, letting trans people in the military or whatever, while leaving all the actual dynamics of oligarchy and empire intact. This creates the illusion of change. You don't get to vote on oligarchy or empire. You only get to vote on what window dressings they use from year to year. It's weird how Biden's obvious dementia has made it essentially mainstream knowledge that the president doesn't actually call the shots in the U.S. government, but everyone's still going to treat the next presidential election like it matters anyway. I mean, it was basically already mainstream knowledge, as evidenced by the fact that whenever you'd point out that Obama or Trump were continuing the same evil policies as their predecessors, their supporters would always say, come on, you can't just expect the president to do things. But then the next presidential election rolls around, and once again, it's the most important election of our lifetime, even though deep down everyone knows it's basically an audition for who gets to play the lead character in a stage play that's been running for generations. I always get people saying, you can't say my president has dementia, you're not a doctor. I am begging these people to just compare recent footage to footage of him a few years ago. If all his very obvious mental lapses aren't enough to convince you, the fact that he's indisputably a completely different man should. Again, this is important to flag not for partisan reasons, but because it makes it abundantly clear that the elected officials of the most powerful government on earth don't actually run things. The official head of an empire doesn't have anything to do with the actual operation of that empire. It's being run by unofficial, unelected forces from behind the scenes. The emperor has no authority. People's attention should be drawn to this fact. Defending press freedoms without defending Julian Assange is attacking press freedoms. Israel's Gaza policy. Trap an ethnic group in one of the most densely populated areas on earth. Routinely drop military explosives on them, knowing you will definitely kill civilians. Claim they're using human shields because they live in a densely populated area. There is no confusion in the Israeli government about the fact that they will kill civilians anytime they do this. They know full well they are doing something that will necessarily kill people who are not Hamas, but they spin it as being exclusively about Hamas anyway. Question. What is Russia? Answer. Russia is a strange, enchanted realm whose magical properties render Western minds completely incapable of forming rational thoughts about it. The powerful understand that narrative control is everything. So when someone with influence begins punching holes in power-serving narratives, it is 100% certain that you'll see them smeared very aggressively at some point. It is very important to prevent those smear campaigns from succeeding. It can be tempting to avoid confronting smearmeisters because they'll always make it an ugly fight. But the only alternative is to let them control the narrative about you, which is the same as letting them control you. Because, again, narrative control is everything. If you are being targeted in this way, it really is necessary to wade into the muck and Make sure you're making your smearers look worse than they're trying to make you look. Make sure their gross behavior damages their reputation worse than it damages yours. If you're actually interested in making a difference and helping the world, you need to not just put out solid work, but also protect your reputation. 
because if you let the Smearmeisters control your reputation, it won't matter how solid your work is, since nobody will look at it. Making sure their smears damage them more than they damage you is the only way to create some space for yourself and your work, because it's the only thing that deters them. Otherwise, they'll keep smearing and smearing until there's no possibility of your work ever having any impact. The more conscious you are, the more conscious people around you will become. There's an outward ripple effect that's amazing to watch. Becoming deeply conscious of your inner world and your outer world is the best way to help wake up humanity, because consciousness is contagious.